Aquaculture. Pre-licensure reviewer. Number 1. It is commonly used in aquaculture, typically consists of several components that work together to create a structure that floats on the water surface and provides containment for fish or other aquatic organisms. The specific composition of a floating net may vary depending on the design, purpose, and environmental conditions. A. Fish cages. B. Fish pen. C. Fish ponds. D. Fish tanks. 1. 2, 3. The answer is a fish cage. Fish cage also known as a fish pen or fish enclosure, is a structure used in aquaculture to confine and rear fish or other aquatic organisms in a controlled environment. Fish cages are typically installed in natural bodies of water such as lakes, rivers, or coastal areas, but can also be used in constructed or semi-closed systems. Number 2. It is a broad spectrum of antibiotic produced by Streptomyces oreophaciens effective against gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria. A. Chlortetracycline. B. Chloromycin. C. Erythrocin. D. Chloramphenicol. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Chlortetracycline. Streptomyces oreophaciens produces chlortetracycline and oxytetracycline, whereas tetracycline and doxycycline are semi-synthetically produced. Tetracyclines suppress bacterial growth by reducing protein synthesis and have broad-spectrum efficiency against gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. The tetracycline class includes the antibiotics oxytetracycline, tetracycline, chlortetracycline, and doxycycline. Number 3. It is an organism that obtains energy by feeding on other organisms. A. Predator. B. Consumer. C. Carnivore. D. Primary consumer. 1, 2, 3. The answer is B. Consumer. Consumers include animals cannot manufacture their own food, they must obtain their food and energy by consuming, eating, other plants and animals. Carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores are the three types of consumers. Number 4. Blank maximum weight of a given species of fish that is limited and specific habitat may support during a stated interval of time. A. Carrying capacity. B. Feed conversion ratio. C. Average body weight. D. Feed. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Carrying capacity. The carrying capacity of an ecosystem has been described as the maximum size of a population or activity that may be supported continually without reducing the environment's future production or suitability for that usage. Number 5. It is the stocking of natural or hatchery produced marine plants or animals. A. Aquasilviculture. B. Cage culture. C. Pen culture. D. C. Farming. 1. 2, 3. The answer is DC farming. The stocking of natural or hatchery produced marine plants or animals, under controlled conditions, for purposes, or rearing and harvesting, but not limited commercially important fishes, mollusks, such as pearl and giant clam, including seaweeds and sea grasses. Number 6. It is a mating system and parental care of fish that has no strong pair bonds or lasting relationship. Monogamous. B. Polygamous. C. Promiscuity. D. Courtship. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Promiscuity. Promiscuity in fish refers to the mating behavior where individuals engage in multiple mating partners during a reproductive season or throughout their lifetime. It is a common phenomenon observed in various fish species. Promiscuity can have several evolutionary advantages, such as increasing genetic diversity and potential for successful reproduction. Number 7. Philippine seaweed export in the form of A. Dried seaweed B. Fresh seaweed C. Powdered seaweed D. Pickled seaweed 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Dried seaweed. 
Dried seaweed is one of the key marine products exported from the Philippines. The country has a thriving seaweed industry, and Philippine seaweed products are known for their quality and diversity. The Philippines produces and exports various species of seaweed, including Yukia macotani, Yukia spinachium, Capificus alvarezii, and Gracilaria spp. These species are cultivated in coastal areas and are commonly used in the production of carrageenan, agar, and other seaweed-based products. The Philippines is one of the leading exporters of dried seaweed globally. Number 8. It is a conflict of communication behavior of fish that arise over limited resources, sometimes fight to death. A. Agnostic behavior. B. Social behavior. C. Dominance hierarchy. D. Altruism. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Agnostic behavior. Agnostic behavior in fish refers to a range of interactions and displays of behavior that occur during social interactions and conflicts between individuals. It involves behaviors such as aggression, threat displays, submission, avoidance, and territorial defense. Agnostic behaviors play a crucial role in establishing and maintaining social hierarchies, defending resources, and securing reproductive opportunities. Fish often exhibit agnostic behavior when they come into contact with conspecifics, members of the same species, in situations where there is competition for food, mates, or territory. Number 9. The process by which fish maintains the electrolyte concentration of its body fluids despite a difference in concentration from that of the external medium. A. Osmoregulation. B. Oxidation. C. Osmosis. D. Precipitation. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Osmoregulation. Osmoregulation in fish refers to the physiological processes by which fish regulate the balance of water and salts, ions, in their bodies to maintain internal homeostasis in different aquatic environments. Fish are constantly exposed to variations in the osmotic pressure of their surroundings, and they have developed various adaptations to cope with these changes. Osmoregulation in fish involves mechanisms to regulate water uptake or loss, as well as the control of ion concentrations in their tissues. Number 10. It is a type of social hierarchy that arises when members of animal social groups interact, creating a ranking system. A. Taxonomical hierarchy. B. Kingdom. C. Dominance Hierarchy. D. Phylum. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Dominance Hierarchy. Dominance Hierarchy refers to the social ranking or pecking order established among individuals within a social group, where some individuals have higher social status or dominance over others. Dominance hierarchies can be observed in various animal species, including mammals, birds, and fish. These hierarchies often determine access to resources such as food, mates, and territory. In a dominance hierarchy, individuals are organized into a linear or nonlinear structure, with dominant individuals occupying the highest ranks and subordinate individuals occupying lower ranks. Dominance is typically established and maintained through a variety of behavioral interactions, such as aggression, submission, threat displays, and ritualized behaviors. Number 11. It refers to a sudden and significant mortality event where a large number of fish die in a relatively short period. A. Fish mortality. B. Fish disease. C. Fish kill. D. None of these. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Fish kill. Fish kill can occur in natural water bodies, such as rivers, lakes, or oceans, as well as in fish farms, including fish pens and cages. Fish kills can have various causes, and understanding the underlying factors is crucial for prevention and mitigation. Number 12. It refers to any instance of an animal consuming a member of its own species. A. Cannibalism. B. Epibionts. C. Carnivore. D. Omnivore. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Cannibalism. Cannibalism in fish refers to the phenomenon where fish prey upon individuals of their own species. 
It can occur in various fish species and is influenced by factors such as population density, availability of alternative food sources, competition for resources, and size hierarchy within a group. Cannibalism in fish can have significant ecological and evolutionary implications, affecting population dynamics, growth rates, and overall fitness. It is observed in both wild and captive fish populations and can occur at different life stages, including eggs, larvae, juveniles, and adults. Number 13. Which of the following culture system has the lower stocking density? A. Extensive system. B. Semi-extensive system. C. Intensive system. D. Super-intensive system. 1, 2, 3. The answer is a extensive system. The extensive system refers to a production method that involves minimal intervention and relies on natural food sources and environmental conditions to support fish growth. This system is often used for low-cost production, typically in large water bodies such as ponds, lakes, or reservoirs. Fish in extensive systems are usually reared at low stocking densities, allowing them to utilize natural food sources and minimize the need for artificial feed inputs. Extensive fish farming systems are commonly employed in regions where land and water resources are abundant, and the goal is to utilize existing natural resources to raise fish with minimal external inputs. The fish raised in extensive systems are usually hardy species that can adapt to varying water conditions and rely on natural foods such as algae, plankton, and insects for their nutrition. Number 14. Food that contains all the necessary nutrients required by the organism for maintenance and growth? A. Complete diet. B. Nutritional feed. C. Compound feed. D. Isocaloric diet. 1, 2, 3. The answer is a complete diet. The complete diet of fish refers to a nutritionally balanced and comprehensive diet that fulfills all the nutritional requirements of the fish species being fed. A complete diet typically contains the necessary macronutrients, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, to support growth, development, and overall health of the fish. 15 An organic compound extracted from the roots of Darus, Timbo, and Cube and used as a fish poison or insecticide. A. Aquadin. B. Breston. C. Tubley. D. Rotenon. 1, 2, 3. The answer is D. Rotenon. Rotenon is a naturally occurring chemical compound derived from the roots and stems of certain plants particularly those belonging to the genera Darus and Lancocarpus. It has been widely used as an insecticide, pesticide, and piscicide, a substance used to kill fish, due to its toxic properties. Rotenone acts as a respiratory inhibitor, interfering with the functioning of mitochondria, which are the energy-producing structures within cells. Rotenone has been historically used in agriculture to control pests on crops and as a tool for eradicating invasive fish species from water bodies. It is particularly effective in targeting gill-breathing organisms, such as fish, by blocking their ability to take up oxygen from water. Number 16. The technology for saline tilapia culture was mainly attributed to Blanc of Sirad, the French Agricultural Research Center for International Development. A. Drive Westley Rosario. B. Dr. Pierre Morris Sens. C. Dr. Rafael Guerrero III. D. Dr. Herminio Rabana. 1, 2, 3. The NASWAR is B. Dr. Pierre Morris Sens. The technology for saline tilapia culture was mainly attributed to Dr. Pierre Morris Sens, who was acknowledged at the workshop as the global scientist and catalyst of saline tilapia program for his 17 years of saline tilapia research. He is with CIRAD, the French Agricultural Research Center for International Development. Number 17. Malobica saline tilapia is a salt tolerant hybrid of blank and blank tilapia. A. Mozambique and Nile. B. Mozambique and Blue. C. Mozambique and Red. D. Nile and Get Excel. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Mozambique and Nile. 
Malobicus is a coined word to describe a complex Dilapia hybrid developed from a programmed crossbreeding between Oreochromes niloticus and O. mosambicus, hence its name. Malobicus combined two desired production traits of two parental species, fast growth of O. niloticus and high salinity tolerance of O. mosambicus. Number 18. A businessman from Pongasinan, who was a pioneer in commercial milk fish farming in sea cages in the Philippines. A. Maximo Abes Amos. B. Herminio Rabanel. C. Catalino de la Cruz. D. Emilia Quinto. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Maximo Abes Amos. Maximo Abes Amos, 78, has been in the fish farming business almost all his life. He was initially into culturing bangus in tracts of ponds he inherited from his parents. He was the first to establish fish pens in Pagaro River here in 1994 but he had stopped after a year when some businessmen followed suit and polluted the waters. Abe's Amos brought 10 cages, each spanning 200 square meters, to the waters off Babarwan Island in 1996. Number 19. First selective breeding initiative launched in the Philippines and was recognized as the first project to formulate a selective breeding program for O. Niloticus. FAST or IDRC International Development Research Center Strain B. Genetically Improved Farm Tilapia, GIFT C. Genomar Supreme Tilapia, GST D. Genetically Enhanced Tilapia Excellent, Get Excel 1, 2, 3 The answer is B. Genetically Improved Farm Tilapia, GIFT Formed in 1988 by World Fish and its partners from the Philippines and Norway, the genetically improved farm tilapia project aimed to develop a faster growing strain of Nile tilapia, Oreochromes niloticus, suitable for both small scale and commercial aquaculture. GIFT is a well known example of selective breeding in aquaculture. It refers to a strain of tilapia, a type of freshwater fish that has been selectively bred to enhance its growth rate, disease resistance, and overall productivity. Gift tilapia was developed through the selective breeding of individuals with the best growth and survival rates over several generations. Number 20. It is considered to be among the most salt-tolerant tilapia and can grow well in ponds with salinities 32 to 40 ppt. A. Oreochromes mosambicus. B. Oreochromes niloticus. C. Oreochromes aureus. D. Oreochromes lydally. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Oreochromes mosambicus. The Mozambique tilapia, O. mosambicus, can adapt to salinities as high as 120 ppt, grow in ponds at salinities from 32 to 40 ppt, and reproduce at salinities as high as 49 ppt. It's important to note that while Mozambique tilapia can tolerate brackish water, its optimal growth and reproduction occur in freshwater conditions. Higher salinity levels can have physiological stress on the fish and may affect their growth and overall performance. Therefore, if culturing Mozambique tilapia in brackish water, it's important to consider the specific salinity requirements for their optimal development and adjust farming practices accordingly. Number 21. An exotic tilapia, called tilapia gloria or the black chin tilapia, is proving to be too prolific and is becoming a pest in ponds in Bataan where milk fish is cultured. What is the scientific name of tilapia gloria? A. Oreochromes linoli. B. Sarodoridon melanotheron. C. Oreochromes leonensis. D. Sarodoridon niger. 1, 2, 3. The answer is B. Sarodoridon melanotheron. Sarodoridon melanotheron is a moderately sized tilapia species with an elongated body. It typically reaches a length of 20 to 30 centimeters, 8 to 12 inches. The fish has a dark coloration, with shades of green, gray, or brown, and distinctive black markings on the chin, giving it the common name black chin tilapia. This species is adapted to a range of environments including both freshwater and brackish water habitats. It can tolerate salinities from freshwater up to 50 parts per thousand, ppt, 
allowing it to inhabit areas where fresh water and sea water mix. Number 22. Harvesting method in milkfish culture operation where it takes advantageous of the tendency of the fish to swim against the current. A. Pasulang method. B. Total drainage. C. Senning. D. Netting. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Pasulang method. The Pasulang method is the most frequent way of milkfish harvesting, in which fish are urged to swim against a water current, caused by tidal exchange, and are gathered in a catching pond or canal system and concentrated using a seine net. The fish are then scooped into chilling tanks or ice-filled cages. A 1 colon 1 ratio of fish to ice in the chilling tanks is sufficient to reduce the temperature of the fish to 4 degrees Celsius in 2 hours, FAO, 2023. Number 23. Collective terms for microscopic organisms suspended in water? Zooplankton. Phytoplankton. Plankton. Periphyton. 1, 2, 3. The answer is. C. Plankton. The term plankton is derived from the Greek word for drifter or wanderer. An organism is considered plankton if it is carried by tides and currents and is unable to swim well enough to move against these forces. Some plankton drift within this manner during their entire life cycle. Others are categorized as plankton when they are small, but develop large enough to swim against the currents. Scientists categorize plankton in a variety of ways, including size, kind, and time spent drifting. However, the most fundamental classifications separate plankton into two groups, phytoplankton, plants, and zooplankton, animals. Number 24. It is the best aquaculture freshwater species for urban aquaculture in the Philippines. It can be cultured at high stocking density without any problem on diseases and low dissolved oxygen levels. A. Tilapia. B. Bolang. C. Catfish. D. Apahop. 1, 2, 3. The answer is. C. Catfish. Catfish are known for their hardiness and resilience, making them well suited for aquaculture. They can tolerate a wide range of environmental conditions, including temperature fluctuations, low dissolved oxygen levels, and varying water qualities. Catfish have a fast growth rate, allowing farmers to achieve marketable sizes within a relatively short period. This characteristic makes catfish farming economically viable and profitable. Number 25. The total amount of energy contained in a diet is usually determined through a. Bomb calorimetry. B. Respiration. C. Bomb colorimetry. D. Chemical analysis. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Bomb calorimetry. A bomb calorimeter is typically used to assess the energy in food. A vital component of nutrition is the amount of energy a particular food releases. Bomb calorimetry plays a significant role in aquaculture by providing valuable information about the energy content of feed ingredients, feed quality control, energy utilization efficiency, waste management, and supporting research and development in fish nutrition and metabolism. Number 26. Blank are man-made culture system constructed from bamboo, wooden poles or stakes driven into the substrate. A. Fish pans. B. Fish cages. C. Fish ponds. D. Fish tanks. 1, 2, 3. The answer is. A. Fish pens. Fish pens are usually constructed using netting or mesh materials that create a cage-like enclosure. The netting allows water to flow freely through the pen while preventing fish from escaping. The size, shape, and construction of fish pens can vary depending on the species being cultured, the location, and the desired production goals. Fish pens rely on a continuous flow of water to maintain adequate oxygen levels, remove waste products, and provide a suitable environment for fish growth. Water exchange can be achieved by positioning fish pens in areas with natural water currents or by using additional aeration systems.
Regular monitoring of water quality parameters such as dissolved oxygen, temperature, pH, and ammonia levels is essential for maintaining optimal conditions within the fish pens. Number 27. A fish that holds fertilized eggs in its buccal cavity for rearing. A. Mouth brooders. B. Pouch breeders. C. Nest builders. D. Substrate spawn. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Mouth brooders. Mouth brooding refers to the female incubating her eggs in her mouth. After the female releases the eggs and the male fertilizes them, she carefully gathers them in her mouth. The eggs will remain in the female's mouth until the fry hatch. Number 28. What is the Republic Act 8550? A. Presidential Decree 704. B. Fisheries Code of 1998 C. Enabling Act of a University D. Agriculture and Fisheries Modernization Act 1, 2, 3 The answer is B. Fisheries Code of 1998 It is a declared policy that limits access to the Philippines' fishery and aquatic resources for the exclusive use and enjoyment of all citizens, especially women and youth sectors. Another policy principle is the preservation of municipal fishermen. Number 29. The raising of two or more species of fish or crustaceans in a pond. A. Polyculture. B. Monoculture. C. Monosex culture. D. Integrated farming system. 1, 2, 3. The answer is. A. Polyculture. Polyculture is the process of culturing more than one species of aquatic organism in the same pond. The underlying idea is that by breeding a variety of species with various feeding habits, fish output in ponds can be increased to its maximum capacity. This combination of fish produces betrues of natural food grown in a pond. Number 30. Typically comprise about 15% of fish. Diets, supply essential fatty acids, EFA, and serve as transporters for fat-soluble vitamins. A. Proteins. B. Carbohydrates. C. Vitamins. D. Lipids. 1, 2, 3. The answer is D. Lipids. Lipids, fats, are high-energy nutrients that can be used to supplement, replace, protein in aquaculture feeds. Lipids provide about twice as much energy as proteins and carbohydrates. Number 31. Which of the following organs plays very important role in fat digestion? A. Liver. B. Intestine. C. Pancreas. D. Stomach. 1, 2, 3. The answer is a liver. The liver is essential for fat digestion and blood detoxification. Bile is a digestive liquid produced by the liver that is essential for the digestion of fatty components of food. Number 32. The ratio of the length of the digestive tract to body length of fish is known as underscore 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 A. Ratio of gut length. B. Gut body length. C. Relative gut length. D. Intestinal length. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Relative gut length. The relative gut length is the ratio of the intestine length to the total length of the fish. Herbivorous fish have longer relative gut length, RGL, than omnivore and carnivorous fish. Number 33. This feeds do not contain a full complement of vitamins or minerals, but are used to help fortify the naturally available diet with extra Protein, carbohydrate, and slash or lipid. A. Supplementary feeds. B. Natural feeds. C. Complete feeds. D. Aqua feeds. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Supplementary feeds. Supplemental feeds are supposed to complement the natural food, insects, algae, and tiny fish, that is regularly available within the culture environment. They are typically made of low-cost, 
locally available materials such as terrestrial plants, food garbage, or agricultural byproducts. Number 34. It supply all the nutrients, protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals, necessary for the optimal growth and health of the fish. A. Supplementary feeds. B. Natural feeds. C. Complete feeds. D. Aqua feeds. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Complete feeds. Complete feeds are made up of carefully selected ingredients that supply all of the nutrients required for the fish to grow properly. They must be prepared in a way that the fish can consume and digest. These feeds are difficult to produce on the farm and are typically expensive to buy. Number 35. Location of SRE gene in chromosome. A. X chromosomes. B. Y chromosomes. C. DNA. D. R. N. A. 1, 2, 3. The answer is BY chromosomes. On the Y chromosome, the SRY gene is located. The sex determining region Y protein generated by this gene functions as a transcription factor, meaning it binds to certain areas of DNA and aids in the control of gene activity. Number 36. It is an expression which relates the gram of weight gain to the grams of crude protein fed. A. Conversion ratio. B. Net protein utilization. C. Protein efficiency ratio. D. Protein nutritional value. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Protein efficiency ratio. The protein efficiency ratio, for, was computed by dividing the weight growth of the fish by the total protein consumed during the experiment. Total protein intake was calculated by multiplying the daily feed ration by the protein content in the diet. Wet weight gain slash total protein ingested equals poor. Number 37. It is defined as the admixture of a pure substance with some cheaper and low quality substance in feeds. A. Contaminants. B. Toxins. C. Adulteration. D. Feed stuff. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Adulteration. Adulteration in feeds is done on purpose, usually to gain money. Husk and sand are the most common adulterants in feeds. Winnowing is the most effective way for detecting husk in feed stuff. To identify pollutants depending on particle size, sieving might be used. Number 38. The carbohydrate storage molecules found in plants is Sugar. B. Cellulose. C. Starch. D. Glycogen. 1, 2, 3. The answer is B. Cellulose. A molecule called cellulose is made up of hundreds, and occasionally even thousands, of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. The primary component of plant cell walls, cellulose, keeps plants rigid and upright. Although cellulose cannot be digested by humans, it is essential for the diet as fiber. Number 39. Which of the following is not an essential amino acid, EA? A. Valine. B. Tyrosine. C. Lysine. D. Methionine. 1, 2, 3. The answer is B. Tyrosine. Tyrosine is a non-essential amino acid that the body creates from phenylalanine, another amino acid. It is required for the formation of several important brain chemicals known as neurotransmitters, which are epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Number 40. The total amount of energy contained in a diet is usually determined through A. Respiration B. Bomb colorimetry C. Bomb calorimetry D. Chemical analysis 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Bomb calorimetry. The cross calorific value of the solid and liquid samples was determined using the bomb calorimeter, model IKAC 2000. It is a calorimeter of the constant volume kind that measures the heat of a specific reaction or the calorific value of the fuels. Number 41. It is the energy that is released as heat when a substance is completely oxidized to CO2, nitrous oxide, and H2O. A. Gross energy. 
B. Digested energy. C. Total heat production. D. Intake energy. 1, 2, 3. The answer is D. Intake energy. The overall amount of energy in the food that is consumed, as supplied by the main dietary energy sources, is referred to as energy intake. Number 42. The collective terms for microscopic organisms suspended in water. A. Phytoplankton. B. Plankton. C. Periphyton. D. Zooplankton. 1, 2, 3. The answer is B. Plankton. An organism is referred to as plankton if the tides and currents carry it and it is unable to swim well enough to move against these forces. The word plankton is derived from the Greek for drifter or wanderer. Throughout their entire life cycles, some plankton drift in this direction. Number 43. Harvesting method in milk fish culture operation where it takes advantageous of the tendency of the fish to swim against the current. A. Netting. B. Senning. C. Pasubang method. D. Total drainage. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Pasubang method. The process of pasulang or pasubang is draining between 85 and 90 percent of the pond's water during low tide and letting it fill up again during the approaching high tide, causing the fish to swim against the current through the tertiary gate and into the catching pond before the gate is shut once a significant quantity of fish have been impounded. Number 44. Live fish boat for transporting milk fish fry. A. Wooden boat. B. Pechuya. C. Fishing vessel. D. Fishing boat. 1, 2, 3. The answer is B. Pechuya. Pechuya live fish boat is used in transporting milk fish fry to reduce the stress in transportation of fish. The boat has a flat bottom, and the fingerling compartment has holes at the bottom for free water entry. When traveling through muddy or unclean water, however, the holes are covered and the water pump outlet is directed towards the fingerling compartment to recirculate and aerate the water inside. When you get at your destination the fingerlings are caught with a fine mesh net and transferred to fish ponds or pens using a stainless bucket. The boat can hold 80,000 to 120,000 fingerlings with a total length of 3 to 5 centimeters or 50,000 to 60,000 fingerlings with a length of 6 to 10 centimeters. Number 45. These are small ponds in milk fish ponds used exclusively for rearing fry to fingerlings. A. Feed ponds. B. Transition ponds. C. Catching ponds. D. Nursery ponds. 1, 2, 3. The answer is D. Nursery ponds. Nursery ponds are ponds where spawn is raised to the fry stage. Carp spawn grows to fry size in around 15 to 20 days. Rearing ponds, these are ponds where fry are raised to the size of fingerlings. It takes about 2 to 3 months to grow carp fry to fingerling size. Number 46. What do you call to the sperm of the fish? A. Milt. B. White liquid. C. Semen. D. Milk. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Milt. Milt also known as soft or white roe, is the sperm-containing fluid of the male fish. Number 47. This is defined as the amount of feed needed to produce a kilo of flesh. A. Feed conversion ratio. B. Feed ration. C. Feed conversion efficiency. D. Feed coefficient. 1, 2, 3. The answer is A. Feed conversion ratio. The traditional metric of livestock production efficiency is the feed conversion ratio, FCR, which is the weight of feed consumed divided by the weight gained by the animal. Feed conversion ratios are significant since they inform farmers about how much feed will be required during the animal's growth cycle. This is a powerful tool since it tells the farmer what decisions he should make to enhance the profitability of his business. Number 48. This is defined as the total amount of salt in grams contained in 1 kg of seawater when all the carbonate has been converted to oxide, bromine, and iodine, replaced by chlorine and organic matter less completely oxidized. APH B. 
Hardness. C. Salinity. D. Alkalinity. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Salinity. Salinity refers to the concentration of dissolved salts, mainly sodium chloride, NaCl, in a body of water. It is an important parameter in aquatic environments, including fish pens and other aquatic systems. Salinity affects various aspects of water quality and has implications for fish health and aquaculture management. Number 49. Inversion of prospective genetic tilapia females by feeding a male synthetic hormone. A. Radiation. B. Sterilization. C. Sex reversal. DYY male technology. 1, 2, 3. The answer is C. Sex reversal. In tilapia, sex reversal is accomplished by administering male steroid to newly hatched fry, causing the undifferentiated gonadal tissue of the generic female to form testicular tissue and hence function reproductively as males. Number 50. Genetically male tilapia, GMT, is a product of A. Monosex B. Sex reversal CYY male technology D. Gift technology 1, 2, 3 The answer is C. YY male technology The YY male tilapia technology is based on genetic sex modification. This is accomplished by combining feminization and progeny testing to find a unique YY genotype that only breeds XY natural male progeny or natural male tilapia. Thank you.